Now, did you know elephants play a key role in maintaining the biodiversity of African rainforests? Well, a new report shows how they influence the carbon retention of the rainforest. So if the critically endangered elephants of Western Central Africa become extinct, it will mean an increase in global warming. Well, the findings have just been published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, and the author joins us now. He's Fabio Berghazaghi, who's from the Laboratory of Climate and Environmental Sciences in France. Morning to you, Fabio, and thanks for joining us. So, so how exactly um, do elephants play such a significant role in, 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 you know, the forest retaining carbon? Good morning, and thanks for the invitation. Uh, so, it's uh, initially it's not so intuitive because you, we'd associate carbon in forest with trees. But if we think if we think about uh, what elephants do, and they do very many things in the forest, then we better start to understand this relationship. So, elephants uh, they do uh, three main things. They they clear uh, the forest of a lot of the plants that are in uh, smaller plants and the under story so typically what foresters do to improve the the growth of uh, the productivity of forests so they they reduce the number of trees and there's less competition for resources and the remaining trees have more access to light water so this makes the trees grow bigger then the second thing they do they disperse uh, seeds they eat fruit a lot of fruit and they poop the seeds intact in a nice uh, uh, fertile environment and these trees they uh, they uh, they are very big and they store a lot of carbon so that's the second way in which they improve biodiversity and carbon storage and the third way is that they prefer to eat uh, leaves from trees that are uh, low carbon density so they leave more trees with high carbon density because the leaves are more palatable more digestible of these low carbon densities so you know flavio it was interesting when you said they they poop the seeds whole uh, me and james my fellow presenter laughed a little um you know because that sounds it was so quite sweet the way you said it but it's interesting because don't cows um increase um, carbon in the air because of their uh, when they um, expel air uh, for for what, what's the best way of flatulence um, is that not the same with with um, with uh, with elephants instead of what you're saying that they're more like the forest gardeners who help protect uh, carbon but in this case you know does that not make it worse. Yeah, so I get this question a lot, and, and it's it's legitimate question, but uh, elephants digest in a very different way than, than cows. Cows are ruminants, elephants are not. So per, per this, if we had an elephant potentially the same size as a cow, you would get a lot less uh, methane emissions. And then the, the reality is that we have very few forest elephants and even if we went back to a million or two million that which we were before they're incredibly low number compared to all the uh, cows we have all over the world so right, we did this calculation in one of our research and we said it's really trivial compared to the carbon benefit you get very, very interesting. Fascinating to hear from you, Flavion. Thank you very much for telling us about the elephants, which according to Earth.com are called the forest gardeners that help global warming. Talking there, Flavio, Fabio Berzaghi from the Laboratory of Climate and Environmental Sciences.